We are heading to Hollywood Studios today to celebrate. I'm so excited. I've got this little button that says, Happy Birthday, Christina. We actually got this done at the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom or in Disney Springs. I think it was $5 and you get to choose all the colors and the little design. And then my best friend, Emily, who's here, ordered me this little button that says, Happy 31st Birthday. And it was, she got it on eBay. It's literally from when Disney celebrated their 31st birthday. <laughs> I've got my mini ears, some shorts, this little button up top from Abercrombie, my bagu tried and true, and let's go ahead into the parks. to be trying the buffalo grilled cheese that everybody raves about. The cast member also gave me a cupcake for my birthday, which is so sweet. And Ryan is bringing our Coca-Colas because he is an angel on earth. Thank you. Buffalo sauce that you dunk, dunk it in. Ching ching. Ooh. That's very good. We were just talking about how in the parks we're not hungry sometimes because it's so hot that you just want something like little. I feel like this is a great thing to even share, like a little grilled cheese. And you can get the salad or the steak fries. And yeah, it's indoors and there's AC, which is really nice. So we're gonna eat and we'll check in with you later. flight the mo most magical flight in the sky wow <laughs> we're gonna take a little break it's excruciatingly hot outside right now so we are going to take a break and go swim in the pool and stuff and then at night oh we will be arriving at disney's caribbean beach resort shortly exactly. we sure All will passengers oh. must disembark and transfer at this station thank you and we hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on earth that's what it is. <laughs> See, the most magical flight on earth, and we did. We are staying in a one-bedroom villa at the Riviera. It is, tr I've never seen anything like that in Disney or anywhere else, honestly. Please so, okay, I will. <laughs> okay, new Skyliner. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Thank you for 
welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. We are gonna go for a dip in the pool because it's the hottest time of the day and then we're going back out at night. We've got stacked Please lightning lanes seated. and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Enough, <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> a mini and other characters too but very cute detail this is where our room is and I'm gonna insert some footage to show you guys a little tour of when we first tucked in when you enter there's like a little space to put like your hat magic bands anything like anything like that there's this lovely kitchen truly incredible if you were a big family and needed to cook <laughs> There's Ryan on the couch, <laughs> here's Emily. It's a part of the trip where we all Thanks. just sit in silence <laughs> because oh. we're so tired. <laughs> and then this up here like pulls out to be a Murphy bed. I love the art right on now, here. <laughs> not right now, not right now it doesn't. <laughs> there are two seats over here. I'll show you guys the little balcony in a second. And then it says, happy birthday, Christina and Christina. I don't know why they put my name twice. And then this folds out, right? It's like a little camita. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bed. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, and it's so cute. It has a little Mickey. So Emily really wants me to show you guys the inside of the cabinets um, because this is a, a DVC. So they have like plates and cups and truly anything that you need to cook which we won't be doing but i feel like it is really helpful for a family also no she's literally whispering dishwasher <laughs> and they have um what's it called a washer dryer which we will absolutely be utilizing emily's a travel agent if you couldn't tell i will put her stuff down below it's free <laughs> to book through her this is the washer dryer that like i said i will be using we live in Jersey City, and even when I lived in New York City, one of my biggest tips is when you go on vacation, if you stay in an Airbnb and they have a washer dryer on your last day, make use of it, because then when you come home, you have a bunch of clean, fresh clothes instead of having a ton of clothes to wash when you get back. Okay, the bedroom is in here. I mean, absolutely stunning. The artwork, the bed, this... <laughs> entire hotel is just amazing there's our little mickey towel and pua who i picked up this trip when we were at the polynesian there's a little desk area there is a huge closet with a lot of space i feel like this is one of the first hotel rooms that i've stayed at that actually is gigantic it just has so much space to move around and to exist in. This is the bathroom. There is a huge tub. And then this is like the second part of the bathroom, which is also super stunning. Toilet and then the shower is in here and it's like a rain shower, which I am very excited to use. I also just love all of the little Disney touches that they have. Like the pillow with the little tangled lanterns. You can tell this is a very like upscale, kind of like Grand Floridian resort, but I love when they still put like little hints of Disney and charm. We've already started to unpack and this is my like accessories drawer where I keep all of the accessories that I have. I love the classic mini ears and the black and white ones. I think I wear these the most, honestly. I just got these at Epcot and I absolutely love them. I've seen them for like years and just have never gotten them and I'm so excited. I have two really cute hats. One is from the parks. This one is from American Eagle and Emily has the same exact one. And then I have a bunch of little cutie cuffs um we have chewy we did a bunch of the like star wars ones with my family um i got this little guy off of ebay it's mickey as a strawberry and then a bunch of keychains i love keychains honestly i have the mickey nuimos and 
New Emoses are just tough for me because they're so big. <laughs> I feel like the keychains are just easier to carry around, so I'd love the keychains. Emily got me this one for my birthday. I got this one in the lobby at the Riviera. I thought it was so cute. It's French Mickey, he's a painter. Um, and I'm gonna put it on my bag when we have our little resort day. I have Chip that I took to Animal Kingdom. And then last but certainly not, certainly not least, I have Stitch in his little hula skirt. I took this one around um, the Polynesian. So these are all my little <laughs> all my little accessories. This is what it looks like outside. It still has like, it's really nice. You can sit in these little chairs and then you can see the view <laughs> of the parking lot. It is raining right now, but still nice and cozy. and there was a knock at the door and Ryan goes to get it and it's this little have a super birthday Christina from your friends in mouse keeping and it's a cute little little thing from the Riviera we have a water bottle right wow we need to stay hydrated welcome home we've been expecting you Riviera mouse keeping wait this is so cute and then a bunch of little chocolates with these cute little Mickey things and it's I mean, hefty balloons. The pool was absolutely phenomenal. We loved every second of that. The rain shower changed my life. <laughs> they brought like little balloons and stuff for my birthday. So far this place, the Riviera has just, I mean, surpassed every expectation. If I feel like Eloise at the plaza on my birthday. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But we're going to take a little nap. And then, like I said, we've got a stacked lightning lane night. I am so excited. We're going to hang out in Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge. It's going to be so great. And we'll see you guys there. Okay, we have rested. We have showered. We are in fresh clothes. I've got my little bang clips in right now because we know the Florida heat and curtain bangs do not mesh well together. I'm also wearing my favorite little necklace tonight. Hopefully you guys can see it. It has like Mickey, Minnie, the whole gang. I got this from Epcot, our last trip, and the name of it is Chris Lou, but they also still sell it in the Pandora store. Um, it's really cute and I feel like, again, I've talked about I love like the little subtle Disney touches and anytime I put this one on, I'm always like, we are so excited, let's go have an amazing night at Hollywood Studios. Okay, it is in fact pouring, <laughs> but we're making the most of it in our ponchos. <laughs> Fashionista. <laughs> I feel like a Jedi. <laughs> Pro tip that Backlot Express has honey mustard. Honey mustard is my favorite. I'm a honey mustard girl. And the chicken tendies look so fresh. We are actually taking these to Baseline Tap House, which is Emily's favorite spot. We've never been before, but we're gonna check it out. Okay, so Ryan got a little beer flight. Looks fabulous. And then we have our chicken tendies over here from uh, Backlot Express, and then we got the pretzel that Emily says is delicious with the beer cheese and mustard, more chicken tenders, and then I got the like hibiscus strawberry soda that looks divine. And that's it. Cheers. Okay, let the lightning lane stack begin. <laughs> I actually did make a video with all of my tips for booking the lightning lanes, like planning your Disney trip with a new multi-pass multi and single pass system. So I'll link it here in case you guys are interested in that, but let's get our night started. Who will take it? Me. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it is Editing Casey here. <laughs> I did not close out the vlog properly in Hollywood Studios, but watching it back now and editing it together is one of my favorite parts of filming in Disney because you get to kind of extend the trip a little bit and relive it a little bit too. Um, this was such a special trip to be able to share it with Ryan, who I love so much, and Emily, who I love so much, and even like seeing them interact and bond with their friendship and then the three of us like it was just it was a really magical trip that I will always cherish forever. I am now 31 in so many of my vlogs. I feel like I'm always like I'm a, I'm 30 years old and 30 years old. Well, I'm 31 now. Um and I would say that one of the biggest pieces of advice, nuggets of wisdom that I've gotten from 30 to 31 is to just do what makes you happy. Do what brings you joy, regardless of what other people think. Um, whether that be going to Disney, whether that be posting on social media, whether that be working on certain projects, wearing certain clothes. Um, I think that I spent so much of my 20s so concerned about what other people's views of me were. Um, and I think that going into 30 and now 31, I'm learning to let that go. Thank you all so much for watching, for being here, for subscribing. YouTube has been a big part of my life this past year and a big source of a lot of joy for me. So thank you for that. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Let go.